Mr. Sparkles! Welcome back once again guys. We are now on the front suspension. Uh, I picked up some new rims today. Pretty excited about that. Now I mean, this stuff needs to get done so we can put them on the car. Uh, as you see here, we've got some really nasty front struts. Uh, we're gonna use a spring compressor. I'll show you how to do that. And uh, take the spring off, put all the stuff in the sand blaster. Hopefully it all fits in without damaging this end here. And uh, clean it up just like we did the rear suspension. So stick around, we're going to get started. Let's go. And to do this, we're going to use this spring compressor right here. Uh, this one I picked up from Princess Auto. Excellent piece of equipment. I have taken many struts apart with it, so this should be no problem. Uh, ideally, you put this on one spring and this on the other. Tighten it up, this moves in, compressing the spring on both sides. And then you can remove the spring perch up top here and uh, without actually hurting yourself because if you did not use a spring compressor this would fly up into the air and you could possibly get very hurt so we're not going to get hurt today we're going to use this tool and uh, let's get started See, we've disassembled the shocks, the struts. Now we've got these rubbers up to clean up. Looks like uh, we got some little friends living in there, which is nice. These strut towers are quite rusty. They should clean up really nice though in the sand blaster. And I have new mounts for these. And uh, I'm actually gonna clean those up and reuse them. I didn't think that they were good, but uh, it looks like they're pretty good. We're gonna move over to the bench. And let me show you this fun stuff.
that is just nasty. Okay, we have them out. Uh, probably one of the most nastiest things I've ever done. Um, but the squirting and, you know, the smell of old oil is lovely. Uh, as you can see in here, we have the strut, or the, yeah, I guess the strut cylinder or whatever you want to call it. This one's still intact. This one actually pulled apart uh, when it was pulled out. So actually how I got it out was, as you saw in the video, he just, Give it a good yank and it came out. Uh, I don't see any product name or manufacturer, anything like that on here. Um, so I'm guessing these are still original from 85. Could be why they exploded inside of there. Either way, uh, I'm still looking for some. So I found some on Mazda Tricks, I believe, as well as Atkins Rotary. They have some as well. But they're quite pricey. As, of course, I live in Canada, so shipping is killer. But we're going to have to get some of these and uh, get them on order. So then we just move to degrease these, throw them in the sandblaster, clean them all up, and uh, move on to the next stage as we did the rear suspension. We're going to do the same thing here. So you can see these are pretty rough shape, but solid still. So we're going to uh, move on to that. I don't know if you can see in there or not. I can't see in there much. But uh, everything looks to be pretty solid. We're going to use the stock springs. Um, I might cut them maybe one rung down just to get a little bit of a drop. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Again, the springs are original. All this stuff is original. So it's not quite stiff as a new car would be. But uh, we're going to move on to clean these up and get these on order. Let's go. Okay, 
Well, this was uh, a little challenging. Uh, as you can see here, this is pretty shot. Uh, the bushings here are in terrible shape. So this is unacceptable. These, among the others, will be replaced with polyurethane. Hopefully, uh, this bar gets cleaned up nice. I may have to replace these washers. They look pretty deteriorated. This one here looks actually a little warped, so I might actually look for some of those. These, as you see in the next few videos, we'll be sandblasting them as well. I'm gonna have to degrease them and clean them out, but a lot of debris, a lot of rust. Uh, hopefully, the new bushings sit nice along here. I know polyurethane tends to squeak a lot, so hopefully, um, Hopefully we get these cleaned up pretty well. And here is the front sway bar uh, from the GSLSC. I'll also be reconditioning this as well. Uh, all the bolts that will be for mounting, those will all be redone as well. And the actual rear stabilizer bars on the car still, uh, as the one I got with this car, as I mentioned in the last video, was pretty bent, so I won't be able to use it. But uh, tomorrow's a new day, and we're gonna start cleaning all this stuff up. Really today was just to disassemble everything and tomorrow we're going to degrease, throw them in the sandblaster, paint them up, hopefully get this on the car soon because I'm dying to drive it. Mr. Sparkles! Woohoo! Uh -huh.